All right, this lesson is permutations and probability. This is module 21.2a. So it's actually from our IM2 book. So anyway, so it's from module 22.2. So when are permutations useful when calculating probability? Okay, so here we go. So there's six ways to arrange the letters X, Y, and Z. I want you to list those, okay? So there's six ways. X, Y, Z is one. And then just do them um, the other way. So there's the six ways. What do you need, Steve? Uh, should I answer these? Yes, please. Thank you. Thank you. Um, okay. So uh, an ordering of n objects, like we did above, we ordered six objects here, is called a permutation. Permutations are ordering things, putting them in order. Okay. So the number of arrangements of n objects is found by this thing that's called factorial. So this n with an explanation point is n factorial. So you start at the big number and then you start decreasing one and decreasing another one and decreasing another one all the way till you finally get down to three times two times one. So above <clears throat> there was three letters. So we start at three and then do two and then down to one. So three times two times one is six. So there were six ways. Okay, so a TV station has eight news stories to present. How many different ways can these eight stories run? Well, that is just eight factorial. So eight times seven times six times five, four, three, two, one. Now, if you have a calculator, you guys, your calculators have something that's usually x factorial or n factorial. Sometimes it's in the second function feature, so you gotta just kind of look around for it. So like on this old calculator, it's in the second function feature and it says x factorial. Now your calculator <clears throat> that gets big fast, I mean look at 8 factorial, it's already 40,000. So if you punched in like I think 10 factorial or maybe 13 factorial, it gets such a big number that your calculator gives you a, a representation that you, that you might not recognize. So we got to do some ways to cancel out things to see what we can do. So, hey, so uh, out of these eight new stories, what if only three can be used? How many? Well, if only three can be used, just draw three blank lines in between them and then put multiply, multiply symbols in between them. So there's eight ways to do the first story, eight different ways, and then we, we already did it, so now there's only seven ways here, and we did two of them, and then there's only six ways, so it's going to be eight times seven times six, and we get 336 ways, okay? That's going to lead us into this thing called permutation. So, so the permutations of n objects, above we had eight new stories, that's our n, taken r at a time, so here we took three at a time, then we use this formula. It's npr for permutations, and it's n factorial over n minus r factorial. So above it would have been 8p3, which is 8 factorial over 8 minus 3 factorial, which is 5 factorial. Okay? Now, if you if you write them all out, 8 factorial is 8 times 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and here's 5 factorial. Now watch. All of these 5, 4, 3, 2, 1s are going to cancel all of those 5, 4, 3, 2, 1s, and you're left with 8 times 7 times 6, okay? So um, what I do, you guys, is I, I don't know if you can see that. I'll try and bring that up here. Sometimes a little uh, thing gets in the way down there. So what I do is, let's see, where can I put that? Maybe I'll put it right here. Uh, right here, 8 factorial over 5 factorial is 8 times 7 times 6, and then this is 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Here's 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Just stop at the factorial down on the bottom down there, and you're left with 8, 7, 6, because 5 factorial over 5 factorial, they just cancel each other out right there. Okay? All right. So, um, uh, so how many different ways can four prizes be given to 50 people? Uh, if they receive at most one prize. Okay, so this one's going to be a 50p4 um, because we have 50 people and we're given four prizes. So how many different ways can you do that? All right, so, uh, so it's a big fat number right there. And so what you need to do, you guys, is your calculator won't give you a number. So it almost says error. I think after 70 factorial it says error because the number is too big. So, um, so what you got to do is do a little bit of manipulation. So 50 factorial over 50 minus 4 factorial, which is 46, and then just do 50, 49, 48, 47, and there's 46 factorial. Those are going to cancel each other out, 
and then 50 times 49 times 48 times 47 will get us that up there also, okay? So permutations that have repeats, okay? So the number of permutations or arrangements or orders of n objects where one object is repeated x sub 1 times and another object is repeated x sub 2 times and x sub 3 times and so on is we do the n factorial over the, the ones that are repeating factorials. Now, if you don't have any repeaters, it's just n factorial. So find the number of distinguishable permutations of the letters in each. Okay, so soccer. Okay, so this one's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 factorial. And since I have two uh, C's repeating, I'm going to put 2 factorial downstairs. Okay, so 6 factorial over 2 factorial comes out to be 360. There's 360 different ways to repeat them. Okay, this one has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 factorial. Okay, and then we have two A's, three A's, sorry, so over three factorial, we have two L's, so another two factorial, two S's, and then two E's, so put two factorials for those. Okay, and so you get 831,600 ways right there, okay? All right. How many different license plates are possible if, <clears throat> and then here's the conditions, digits and letters can be repeated. And then that's the A part. And the B part is digits and letters cannot be repeated. And then here's the last rule. It's going to be three letters followed by four digits. Okay. Steven Cardini, please come to the athletic office. Sorry. Steven Cardini, please come to the athletic office. I'm at lunch, and of course we've got to have all of that stuff. Okay, so here's the three letters followed by four digits, and we're going to multiply all of these, okay? Here's the three letters followed by four digits. Okay, now it says the digits and letters can re be repeated. So of the letters, there's 26 in the alphabet. So 26, 26, 26. And of the digits, 10, 10, 10, 10. Okay, so that's going to get me that mess. And when you multiply that out, 175,760,000. Okay, now this one, it can't be repeated. So this is going to be 25 or 26 times 25 times 24. This one's going to be 10 times 9 times 8 times 7 because it cannot be repeated. So once you used it up, it's gone. All right, and that mess comes out to uh, 78,624,000. Okay, so you just got to watch the wording. All right, so a four-digit code is required to get into a faculty. Um, I'm going to put a faculty room right there. Sorry, so just pretend like it says faculty room. A code can contain any of the digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9. So there's 10 digits there. But no digit is repeated. What's the probability? You remember probability from yesterday's lesson, favorable divided by total. What's the probability that you can randomly assign a code with the digits 1, 2, 3, and 4 in any order? Okay, well, we first got to find out... Um, uh, what the total is, and then we'll find out what the favorable is, and then we'll put it in fraction form, okay? So there's there's 10 digits total, and of the 10 digits, we're going to choose four of them. So this one's going to be 10P4, okay, which is 10 factorial over 6 factorial, which is 10, 9, 8, 7, 6 factorial, and we get 5,040 ways. Now... Um, our code is going to be of these four digits, so we're choosing only from these four. Uh, we're picking four of the four, okay? So it's going to be 4P4, all right? So that's 4 factorial over 4 minus 4, which is 0 factorial. Now, I didn't say anything, but both 0 factorial and 1 factorial comes out to 1. So this is going to be 1, and then 4 factorial is 24. That's the numerator. That's the favorable ways. So now it's going to be 24 over 5,040, and that reduces to 1 over 210. All right, let's try one more. So if a motorcycle license plate consists of five digits where no digit is repeating, so what's the probability of getting a license plate consisting of all even numbers? Okay, so the total number of different plates is there's five digits, and we're choosing them from 10, so 10P5. Okay, so when we crank that out, we're going to get um, uh, 30,240. Okay, and then uh, the even digits, you guys, the favorable five even digits, and we're choosing from those five, is going to be 5P5. Okay, so we're doing 
Um, we're only the we're, it's going to be all even so that's our favorable so there's five evens and we're choosing five and they can be uh, uh, after we choose them we can't repeat them so there's an order there so this is one remember that's one so five factorial is a hundred twenty ways right there okay so the probability of getting it it's going to be 120 over 30,240 and this goes in there I forgot how many times it goes in there 252 times all right, you guys, if you are in my class, you're going to get that assignment. Take care.